Hello friends, welcome to Gate Gang. In this question, uh, we have to check. This is uh, our uh, network, two board network, and we have to check reciprocity. Reciprocity and symmetricity of this network. So, by uh, observing the network, we can say that uh, for uh, network for a network to be symmetric uh, my z11 must be equal to z22 symmetry and for a network to be reciprocal my z21 must be equal to z12 reciprocal so we have to check these two parameters so for a uh, z for a Z parameter circuit, uh, for a T network in a Z parameter circuit, uh, we can uh, get my Z1 and my Z2 as Z1 when is given by Z plus Z B. Here it's my Z A. Z A. This one is Z B, and this one is going to be this whole as zc so z11 is given by z z plus z b z12 is z b z21 is again z b and my z22 is given by z b plus z c so by simply observing the circuit we can say that my z a plus z b is going to be r plus r2 and my z 2 2 will be z b plus z c so uh, this will be r 2 plus this 1 upon s c along with this dependent network so from uh, uh, network we can see that it's uh, not going to be symmetrical as my z 1 will never be equal to z 2 2 so it will be non-symmetrical network and, we, and when we talk about reciprocity my network cannot be uh, a reciprocal when a dependent source present in the circuit. So uh, from formula we can say that Z1, Z21 and Z12 is going to be equal. But we will, uh, when we will solve these two circuits to get Z1, Z, Z11, Z22 and all the parameters, we will see that uh, the set network is not going to be reciprocal. And uh, by simply knowing this, that when, whenever a dependent source is present in the circuit, my circuit cannot be reciprocal. So, it's not going to be, it's going to be non-reciprocal. Why? Because dependent sources present in the circuit. So my, uh, so the circuit is going to be uh, non-reciprocal and non-symmetrical. Thank you.